Welcome to Cisco Training Videos. My name is Trevor. The topic for this video is going to go in-depth into the fundamentals of ICMP stateful inspection on the Cisco ASA firewall. Let's begin. As we've discussed in previous videos, the Cisco ASA firewall is a stateful packet inspection device. This means that any type of traffic that traverses one of the firewall's interfaces is going to be statefully inspected. The problem with this, of course, is that all traffic is not stateful. ICMP is an example of that. Since ICMP is a connectionless protocol, ICMP has the ability to send one host a message and never even expect a reply. Because the ICMP protocol operates with such loose rules, the firewall cannot track the state of different ICMP traffic between hosts. Cisco implemented a solution to this in ASA 7 code, and it's referred to as Stateful ICMP Inspection or ICMP Inspection Engine. The Cisco ASA has the ability to track the state of the ICMP packet exchange process and the firewall can infer enough information to make the ICMP traffic appear as if it were a stateful protocol. Alright, this is where it gets really cool. Here's an example of an ICMP stateful inspection in progress. So as an inbound ICMP echo request comes into the firewall, if the access list allows the traffic, the firewall is going to create a temporary ICMP XLATE. Next, the ICMP inspection engine will document the echo request's ICMP sequence number and the ICMP inspection engine will open up a temporary ICMP one response connection. The echo reply will only be sent through this temporary inspection engine connection if the ICMP sequence number matches the corresponding echo request. Since this is such a critical component of the ICMP stateful inspection process, I'd like to reiterate this the ASA will only allow one echo reply for every echo request, and it will only send that echo reply if it matches the ICMP sequence number. It only gets one chance, and if that echo reply outbound response does not match the echo request parameters, the ICMP inspection engine temporary connection is torn down, and the XLATE stays active for 30 seconds before it's turned down. The advantage to this stateful ICMP inspection engine process is that once the appropriate echo reply is sent, the ICMP connection and XLATE entries can quickly be torn down within the same second as the echo reply is sent. Before ASA 7 code, the only thing that the ASA did was it created an ICMP XLATE entry to allow the translation to occur, then the ICMP traffic would either get blocked or permitted based on the access list or security levels in place. No ICMP inspection occurred whatsoever. On ASA 7 code or higher, the ICMP inspection engine can be enabled by utilizing modular policy framework. I will be making a video going in depth in the configuration and implementation of this here in the near future. But for now, I'd like to review what we just went over. So as an inbound echo request is sent to the firewall, the firewall is first going to look at the access list that's applied to the outside interface and it's going to make sure that ICMP traffic is allowed through that interface. If it is, it's then going to create a temporary ICMP XLATE. The ASA is then going to create a one response temporary connection and the echo reply will be sent using that one response connection only if the ICMP sequence number matches the echo request. Thank you for watching. Please leave any questions or comments you have in the comment section below.